Do we have a very well? And what are we talking about? Hello. Howdy how. This is a bit off the cuff because we've got loads to cover, but we haven't really organised what we're doing. Well, it's a bit scruffy, actually, because uh, <laughs> we, we haven't done a video in a while, that's no secret. Um, Ikitos was really oh, the last... <laughs> Ikitos was really the last video that we did that was sort of an organised, structured video. Was it? Yeah, it was pretty good, actually. That was ages ago. We've pretty, done so much since then. Pretty funny. Probably never got a tan since then. Lost it or got it. Oh, Mosquito bites have gone. They have. Which is um, good. So, Arequipa, so last time we talked about, well, I think we were in Cocker Canyon when we did the video. So, we'll talk a little bit about that. Mm -hmm. Went to Arequipa, lovely, lovely uh, city in the south of Peru. Oh, we're not going to. Yeah. And um, really nice city. We didn't spend much time there. We did, we did some walking around, didn't we? Went to the market. Yeah. Where mum and dad, when they were here, they uh, drank. Uh, a frog smoothie. Was that Arequipa or Cusco? Arequipa. Yeah. We, we went to the market, didn't we? We searched everywhere. Um, Not because we wanted to have any. You might have No, God no. <laughs> uh, frog smoothie, no thanks. But we did, we searched uh, everywhere. We didn't uh, uh, manage to track it down. Yeah, we, as like we said, we wouldn't have had it anyway. And there was, uh, the market was one of the most, the best markets been to and as you know we Fruit love a market fish, we love place. a market yeah. but no so the reason we were in Arequipa uh, really uh, is to go and visit Colca Canyon which we did briefly explain in the last one is the deepest yeah, we won't, we won't bother with all that. the deepest valley so you already yeah. know those facts so we had a great walk uh, we decided to do it on our own which meant a bit of sort of finding our own way um, I think in the last video we planned to do like a three-day walk in one day we didn't do that we, we walked down oh, yeah, we into the that. canyon, <laughs> and that was really nice, got some good views. And actually, the further we were walking down, the views were getting worse. So we decided to stop. Where we took the video. Come back up, and, uh, and then walk along the ridge to where our hostel was for the night. Managed to bag a sweet really deal. Hot. It's really hot. It is baking hot where we are now. <sighs> oh, we it's so that. hot. Not um, talking about this. Well, we may as well just cover the... Um, so the room that I'm staying in at the moment, I've got a... Uh, Obviously, my own room and uh, toilet, shower, everything like that. I've got my own balcony and uh, courtyard. So I asked Bro because I was coming a day later to uh, cover the day later to, to book me a room as well. So much room. And he Get stuck it. me in a mixed dorm. <laughs> I've got no balcony. I've got a shared toilet. <clears throat> no little outside space for myself, but um, he's got one. So yeah, he's happy with that. Happy with himself. I am. Yeah. Got TV, whiteboard. Oh, he's got it all. A couple of tables. Probably only paying like a couple of quid more than me. But didn't want to <laughs> take that pun on me. Oh, well, I saved money. So, can you, oh, by yeah, the way. Yeah, walked along the ridge. We could talk a bit, because we've got some videos of that. <laughs> of the ridge? Well, I've got some videos. Of the ridge? You were. <laughs> um, well, anyway, it doesn't matter. Because we got, um, we arrived in, what was the town where we started? Kuchu... Kuchura. For Kolka Canyon? Yeah, I've got that no first idea. town. Can't but anyway, so um, when we arrived, it was a lot of festivities going on. Um, no, and after actually. our horrific bus journey, um, we weren't allowed off the bus for ages. Um, we got on the bus at three in the morning, and it took six hours. And then it arrived in the town that we wanted to get off, but then the bus... It was really weird, because loads of people were getting off and then coming back on again, but no one would... We couldn't get off. No, no, before then, packed. the bus broke down. It's high burst. Oh, yeah. And... This was like a bus that was really windy, like your typical South American bus that people dread. It was going around all these like really steep, narrow roads, and um, it was going at quite a pace and a tire burst. Bus has started again. New tire on. Hopefully, you screwed it on nice and tight because we're going back onto the windy roads again in a minute. I'm sure he's done a proper safety check now on the other three as well, just to make sure that they're. They're fine as well. <laughs> See you at the canyon. I think this road goes along the canyon, so I just, you know, let's hope it's, hope it's all good. Could have gone with a tour agency and gotten a minibus. 
didn't want to do that. I wanted to do ourselves sounds because it's more adventurous. That was pretty scary. Just outside the time where we needed to go. Yeah. You were sleeping, lots of videos that as well. Have you? It's not loads in. Standard, yeah. Go there then. Definitely. Why not? Um, Yeah, got to the canyon. As, as Bray said, there's some really good festivities. We captured that. Yeah, so look, we'll just have a look at this because uh, I quite enjoy the tune, actually. It's quite catchy. Play. We're back. Yeah, did a walk down to the canyon, came back up, and then walked along the ridge, which was um, quite an experience. My face is burning here. Yeah. I don't have any sunglasses on. <laughs> well, we'll so finish hot. this video and then we'll move. Because some people have started to join us. Anyway. <laughs> um, yeah, walked along this, it was a ridiculous path uh, that went along actually the canyon face. It was, it was a lot along the edge. Really thin path. Um, oh, coming back? Yeah. Hello. Just at Cocker Canyon, um, I'm walking along this, uh, well it's like a little aqueduct uh, that sort of goes along the edge of the canyon. It is an actual path, uh, it is an actual path, I looked it up, but um, just got to this bit now, so this is the back, I'm working with this view all the way, like, it's pretty good, and I've just come along this way, but now I've got to this bit, and um, I've got to go like under the rocks <laughs> to get through. Can you see that? So let's do it. Oh, doing it. This is kind of cool, actually. Ooh. Oh, it's stuck. I just really don't want to fall in the water. <laughs> that would suck. Um, okay, I need two hands for this bit. I'm going to see you. That was from it. Yeah, oh. oh my god. That was the, that's the, 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 by far the, the most terrifying experience I've ever had. I couldn't look to my left, so I was, I was literally doing this the whole way. Um, but got a bit of a little section of it, just to give you an idea. Yeah, I don't think it does it justice though. Um, no, no, it was very steep. It was like, pfft. yeah, steep drop. Um, but yeah, that's the most terrifying experience of my life without passing out. Oh yeah, because you did the um, hang gliding. Hang gliding, and you passed out. <laughs> uh, and then we arrived at yeah this sweet deal of a place. So we booked a hostel where everyone else stays, and uh, they sent us a message quite late on to tell us it was cancelled. So we were like, ah, panic. Uh, but this other place, because it was so last minute, had fifty percent off, and it was deluxe. It was like a little hostel right on the edge of the cliff and uh, usually people go to like this lookout point to see all the condors come in and we had our hostel right where all these condors were coming up so we enjoyed some amazing sights. We actually uh, got, uh, got away with a bit of cash didn't we? Well we made a saving because we didn't have to, uh, we had, the we didn't, we didn't people had to pay anything. 70, we what was it, 70, 70 sol solas, 70 souls for um, to go and see these condors at this little mirador point, oh, yeah, the viewpoint. Matter. We didn't have to because we were uh, close enough, which we thought we a bit originally, we missed it. But yeah. um, then some flew flew by and Bro's got some fantastic images. Happened. He's really, he made the most of that opportunity so much and there's like some that geos in there I reckon. All right, so no I haven't. Um, <laughs> the birds weren't in the right place. <laughs> yeah, you're really close there, weren't they? Yeah, the sun was behind the birds, so all the birds are in shadow. Lots of opportunity. And it was a really sunny day, wasn't it? Yeah, the sun was behind them, so they were all in shade. But we couldn't leap across the other side of the canyon, could we? So. Anyway, so then we came back um, after a delightful Coca Canyon visit. Uh, spent the night in Arequipa again and then uh, made our way to Cusco. Now, yeah, Cusco's a really nice place. Um, well, are, we, are we cutting this one? Why not? I'm just gonna. Oh. So Cusco's a really Tee nice place. Well, yeah. Well, probably the 
Yeah, it will be the next video. It'll be like two videos. Because you'll see it in three weeks after this one. Well, you see it about two months' time because Bro's. <laughs> it's a really difficult one to edit, but Bro's going to do that when he gets home. I'm trying to edit the Chocker Corral track I did. It's like eight Whatever. Days with so much video. Yeah. yeah. So we did. Uh, so we arrived in Cusco, a really nice place. I stayed there for like four or five days before I started doing the Sock and Tie track. Um, but as I say, we have filmed the Sock and Tie track and the. Chuck a corral, chuck a corral uh, ruins. Um, well, it's it's mostly Bro's video, so he's got most of the footage, and so then low. we sort of joined together on my third day, which was like your sixth, seventh day. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then we uh, went so to we Machu Picchu. We went to Machu Picchu. What you might see is the second part where we join and then go to Machu Picchu. We might do that first because. Really? Yeah, mine's such a big edit, and also actually, I'm a bit miserable in it because it was oh, a, a really hard downer. If yeah, you're so feeling low, don't watch it. I'm going to try and like do a video where I talk about it in a very upbeat way and then show you some of the videos where I'm just not having fun. It's very bipolar. Worth it though. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay. okay, so we'll finish that one.